Today, I'll show you how to do your Gate.io crypto taxes. Hello, and welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're covering actually a wallet we've done in the past, but there's been some minor changes to the uh, API. So this video um, requires some updating as well. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, then I'll jump into the new integrations for this exchange. And then lastly, I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And if you have any questions at the end, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources you can go to and hopefully get those answered. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Gate.io is actually one of the biggest exchanges in terms of trading volume. It's based out of Illinois, USA and founded in 2013, which is you know a very long time in terms of crypto years. It is currently one of the fastest growing platforms with the leading initial exchange offerings, IEO, um, platform supporting over 180 different trading pairs, margin trading with leverage, and other services like margin lend, uh, lending and borrowing. So um, for more experienced traders, definitely something you'd probably be interested in. Okay, so that's enough about them. Let's talk about the integration part of this video. First step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, it's completely free to make. You can follow along until it's time to get a plan. But anyways, go into the wallet section, click on wallet. We're gonna type in gate. And the first one is Gate.io. So two different options, the new updated API, which I will show you first, and then the CSV files. And you can obviously choose whichever you'd like, but let's click set up um, auto sync and a few different things to note here. So hold and earn transactions are not supported by the API. Startup sales are not supported by the API. Dust conversions are not supported by the API and make sure to use your API version four keys. So if you are using, you know, probably some of the more difficult or more uh, advanced trading features, transactions, you're gonna have to find a different way to get those into Coinly. So probably with, you know, their own individual CSV files. But yeah, let me show you where to get the API key on their platform. So on their website, in the top right corner, underneath your profile icon, a little um, menu will pop up and it will show API management. We're gonna click on that. And then here, we're gonna click on create API key. Um, give it a name, something like Coinly. And under IP permissions, you're going to want to click later. And keep in mind that you will need to create these API keys every 90 days because they are only valid for 90 days. Um, as we stated before, API version four must be selected. And now it really depends on what transactions you're dealing with, but to be safe, just click all of them. Um, and my camera is a little bit in the way of, of this, so sorry. And then select read all on every single one of these. So Coinly can't, you know, touch or remove any of your funds, nor are we interested in doing so. So click on submit. Um, and then obviously, you know, risk reminder, all that stuff, um, make sure that everything is in order here and then click accept. And then obviously your password and your authentication uh, in order to get these keys. So there you have it. That is your key. Make sure to copy and paste it into Coinly. That is your um, secret right here. Also make sure to copy and paste that and click here, click secure import. And there you have it. So that's one route you can take. Obviously, like I said, if you have any of the more complex transactions, you're also gonna need CSVs. So let me show you how to get those. Um, same thing as before, find that same wallet, click on import from file, and let me take you to their platform to get those CSV files. So on their platform, in the top right corner, you're gonna have the wallet menu. From that, we're gonna click on funds overview. And then from the bottom, my camera is a little bit in the way here. We're gonna click on billing details. Um, and then we're gonna set a time frame. So first of all, coins, we wanna make sure all. Filter, we also want to have to all. And then now it depends really what you're trying to do here. How many years have you had this account? Um, make sure to get your entire transaction history. Um, for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to do this year. So from January 1st till today, I'm going to click filter. And then in the top right corner, there's a little download button. Make sure to select that. And once it's downloaded, simply drag and drop that file into Coinly, and there you have it. So once you've put that file into Coinly and you've clicked import, your information is now safely inside of Coinly. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter which route you take. The most important things here are to get your entire transaction history from the day you open up your account till you know whatever time frame you are working with here. One more thing to note here that I've added post edit, if you'd like to update your API keys, which you will need to do every 90 days for gate IO, you can do two different things. You can delete the wallet and then follow the same procedure we have earlier in the video, or you can click on these three dots and click troubleshoot. And under here, you will have edit API settings 
and you can type in the new API key and the new API secret and click save changes. Once you're happy with that, go into the transactions area and kind of peek underneath the hood of what's going on. You can see Coinly has done the most difficult part, which is calculated your capital gains and losses. Um, if you have any staking, make sure to tag those transactions correctly, sent to pool, sent from pool. And then when you're happy with everything there, go into tax reports and have one final look of, you know, the summary of your crypto activity for the year, your capital gains, your other gains, your income, your costs and expenses, anything else um, that you'd like to know. And then once you're happy with that, pick a tax report uh, appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax documentation for the US. We have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant and they can combine it with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll about do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. We have a um, forum section if you like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, if all else fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.